and spawning over here in the bottom right hand corner as the green Terran player, ladies and gentlemen, representing Mouse Esports. Very fast 11 11 in game number one, taking his opponent completely off guard. What has he got in plan here on Akalon Wastes? We have Lucifron. His opponent, winner of the Dutch StarCraft League, but going down very, very hastily in game number one. Tried to pull off a hero hold there, not quite able to do so, but put up a hell of a fight. Let's see if he can come back in game two. We have representing Fnatic. It is Harston. Now, one important thing to note is all they're battling out for here is the right. first place spot. Yeah. So, both these two players are going to be going into Group Stage 3. Oh, that's true, because they've beaten their other opponents as well, haven't they? Yeah, they've, be they've won their previous two games 2-0, okay? So, it d it's not that it doesn't matter, though, because the first or second spot in a group is going to mean the difference between going up against someone like Startel's life... Ooh, or, that could be tough. ...or going up against someone who is still very, very, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You're basically between a rock and a hard place, but if one of those rocks has a name called Startail Life, you probably want to avoid that one, given the chance. And we have got the double gas coming down now for Harstom after the gateway. Note that uh, he is uh, not going to be sending out a probe scout just yet, so uh, feeling pretty confident that Lucifer isn't going to do the same thing two games in a row, maybe. But uh, that would be correct. Lucifer on getting his gas mining. It looks like we're going to have a repro opening coming up from him. Now, a Reaper opening on this map actually is okay. The key benefit, though, is getting the scouting information off. Really, because it is quite large. There is a little bit of cliff area to utilize. It's not, not an awful lot. It's not a star station or a Neo Planet S, but no. it does mean you can get over and get that scouting information. Notice Harstem, though, he's not even scouting this game. Yeah, he seems uh, pretty determined not to do that at the moment, and we've oh, got a second double Barrys racks coming Reaper. down from Lucifer. We could indeed have that double racks Reaper coming down here, and. Uh, well, I think Lucifron may be using Harstom's expectations of a long macro game to his advantage here, really. Game number one, uh, once it wasn't scouted, was almost a free win for Lucifron, even though Harstom put up a hell of a fight. And uh, game number two here, he again is doing something a little bit unorthodox, and Harstom knows nothing about it. And all while Harstom is unaware, it can catch him off guard, just as what happened in game one with that proxy 11-11 two rats. If you're not expecting it, it could be a problem. The Zealot wasn't skipped this time, but Zealots aren't really that good against Reapers. Mothership cores are, though. Yeah. So that's going to help push it back. But, of course, the second Rax is there. So it's not just a single Reaper that Harston may think it is. And uh, the Reaper is going to get pushed back. Still more being produced right now. We can see Reapers number two and three coming out. And the natural expansion is going to go down on the low ground. So he'll be joining up with his brethren. Nice little pick off there off the probe from that Reaper. Reapers number two and three are going to come and try and make life as annoying as possible right now for Harston. There's even Reapers five and six. This is an exercise in counting. If you are or four and five, speaking of exercise in counting. Four and five, indeed. <laughs> That was embarrassing. But anyway, additional Reapers coming out. Yes. Um, and this is something... Now you've seen three Reapers, you should know that it's uh, two acts yeah. producing that, not obviously just... He's not going full Mario. He's not going full Mario mode, but it's still actually quite a bit of pressure coming in. And following up from this, Lucifer is using the map dominance he's getting from these Reapers to take two command centers up simultaneously. This is really important because it's going to give him a good economical backup to this while he transitions out of it. So it's just going to be the five Reapers... And they're going to come pushing in and really try and do a nice little bit of damage. All right, five Reapers as opposed to five Rax Reaper coming in from Lucifer here. The Mothership Core from Harstom is staying put in the main base. The Nexus doesn't see the Reapers yet, of course, because its vision range isn't very large. But I think he's waiting for the probes to uh, possibly get transferred. And the Reaper is actually coming very close to picking apart that Zealot there. The probes are indeed going to get transferred, almost picking off the sentry so, so close. And keeping all five Reapers alive really, really well done. Harstom now has the probes over at the natural. Do we have enough energy for that photon overcharge? Yes, we do. So can these Reapers force that early uses of energy from that Mothership Core? We'll have to wait and see, but Harstom behind this, he's getting up his robotics base, so he's going to be taking straight up into Colossi. Meanwhile, Lucifer, he's just going really economically focused for the time being. There's the photon overcharge. Not 100% sure he needed to trigger that, but rather be safe than sorry. Mm. And Definitely. Well, Stim coming down for Lucifer, he's just going into, dare I say, pretty standard play. 
Yeah, he's lost one of the Reapers so far, which is uh, not that big a deal as long as he can continue to be active on the map with the other four and possibly scout. Like you mentioned, these Reapers are really good for scouting, but hasn't spotted anything complete. inside the main base yet. He's instead been preferring to focus on damage oh, dealing, nice stalker and positioning. one of those is going down once again. Great positioning on the Stalkers there from Harston. So the first Colossus is in production. Meanwhile, over at Lucifer's base, we can just see a good number of, well, Marines couple of engineering bays on the way down. Very, very normal play at the moment from Lucifer, who's definitely wanting to go into the later stages of this game. After putting a little bit of pressure, all the Mothership Corps going a little out of position, these Reapers are probably going to get a Prey War too. Now, is he going to try and commit to going up on the cliff to see if he can spot the tech? He is not. So Lucifer still doesn't know what's coming at him. Uh, inside the main base. We're screwed, says one of the Reapers there. Just about getting away though from that Mothership Corps in the middle of the map. Should be okay, no problem. These Colossi though are going to be a big problem and uh, Harston is keeping them well hidden inside his main base. The Reapers can't jump up this cliff, by the way. It's too high. They have to go via here, which is why Harston's put his army here and these Colossi coming out might be able to catch Lucifer on by surprise. Yeah, there's always the option for a scan though. That's something which... And in some ways, surprised Lucifer hasn't gone for because he does have that third orbital command. So he does have quite a decent amount of energy ready to go for it if needed. But instead, just feeling quite confident with what he's doing, he does have the starport coming down. But of course, these really early colossi before the starport's even done means yeah. that Lucifer is going to have to either pick going for a couple of medivacs or getting the Vikings out. The investment in these early Reapers, of course, cost gas. And as a direct result of that, I mean, medivacs are inevitably going to be slightly later than you otherwise would expect them in a game like this, simply because of that early commitment. And it looks like that probe is going to get taken out. And ooh, the Reaper, I think, did see just for a split second the Colossus coming out there. And uh, two additional bunkers going down. Now, do we have extended thermal lance? I don't think we do yet. And a lot of stuff currently being... Uh, or being gathered around yep. these bunkers, and indeed there's no extended thermal lance right now. So that means the Marauders are in equal range for this bunker with good force load. Harsten is able to knock it down. There's no bunker support. Two colossal side can do some really nice damage. Great time warp there as well. And actually, this is looking fantastic for Harsten here. Yeah, that time warp was superb. He's knocking out so much of this infantry, the single Marauder is the only real threat to these Colossi which have taken no damage, and Harsten has pumped through so hard, and GG! Ooh!